today we are going scuba diving. It's my first time scuba diving. I've been snorkeling in Mexico, but I've never been scuba diving before, so this will be my first, and I'm pretty excited. While I was in the hospital, I had gotten the offer to go to Colorado. I would go through an interviewing process and get talked to about whether I would like to go or not to Craig Rehabilitation Center. So I actually, I had gotten interviewed, gotten approved, and then I took my flight. Did you hear vibrations? The birds are sitting right there. They're already waiting. Once I first got into the track program at Craig Hospital, they asked about some things that I would be interested in. Swimming was a huge thing for me. I've always loved swimming. All right, you can move that hand. Now, go ahead and move yourself, do a backstroke. There you go. A lot through rehab was mostly a mental game, just kind of coming to terms of, you know, if I'll be able to walk again, how much function I'll be able to have. Craig Hospital's been involved with adaptive diving since the 70s, um, but just recently um, Denver Divers has been a partner with Craig Hospital in providing tri scuba and getting involved with adaptive diving. It's always great to have community partners and resources for our patients, so we have just recently started partnering up with Denver Divers to provide these opportunities for scuba diving. All instructors get a reward in when we teach people who have some anxiety around the activity. Getting them over their uh, anxieties and, and fears to realize that this is a, a, an activity they can do and whatever their perceptions were prior to starting it to get them knocked out that they aren't true, there's a great deal of pleasure when you do that. When you're teaching somebody who is living with a disability to sit there and then take them to the ocean, it's that kind of experience and reward, but it's on a much heightened level. So for them, it's, it's just awesome to be around them when they get that much joy. Before the accident, I never really thought about the feeling. I never really thought about how it made me feel being in the water. But a big portion of what it's like being under the water for me now is not worrying about any injuries that I can get while being in the water. like worked with Bella. She's such a positive person to be around. Like right off the bat, she was just very friendly and like really willing to try things new. And we, I was able to get her on an adaptive piece of recreational equipment and she was very excited and like wanting to try anything that's new. So I think that this opportunity for scuba diving is really right up to her alley. And then she's just very resilient and wants to you know, work hard and being in the pool will allow her to like work on goals that she's been working on outside of the pool. So this is a great opportunity for her and I'm glad that she was definitely willing to try something new. Uh, mobility is the big part and they are dealing with that every day of their life. So when you take them and give them the opportunity to breathe underwater, that's an experience all in its own. People think about floating in space. It's very similar to that, but you're floating in water. Their experience is, is like all divers would experience, except on a much more heightened level of appreciation for that. It's so new, like even scuba diving without an injury, I think for the first time is just kind of that experience that you've never felt before. And so seeing our patients come out of the pool and they have like a different light about them, like just a sparkle in their eye and the smile on their face just so, says it all. I would describe being in the water as relaxing, calming, and exhilarating all at the same time. <laughs> 